With Realm 3 right around the corner, I'm assuming a lot of new people will be jumping into Steppen. Now, I am assuming that Realm 3, since it will be the Ape Realm, it will probably be a lot more expensive than the other two realms. So I decided to break down the current differences between Solana and Binance. This is where I'm imagining people who cannot maybe afford or just don't wanna take such a high risk in realm three will be probably going to. So together, let's find out which one you will get more bang for your buck in right now. We'll be taking a look for the buying cost for each realm, how many days it will take you to break even, and how much you can possibly earn. Also, I will be choosing a winner from last week's video who commented, watched till the end and of course we will have a new hashtag for this week's video so make sure to watch this entire video for a chance to win free gst so let's go ahead and dive right into today's video so in these scenarios we are only taking a look at joggers on both solana and the bsc side the reason why is because joggers are for the most part the most in demand sneakers if you have runners they're going to be cheaper and you're going to be earning more so the break even price Prices are probably going to be a little bit better walkers might also be a little bit cheaper but they're going to earn less and trainers although they do earn a little bit more you do have to pay up for those so joggers are the perfect medium to cover another thing to note is the current prices remember this video as of this recording these are the numbers all of these numbers will change by the minute by the day by the week by the month so depending when you're watching this video all of this is most probably Probably going to be completely different so as of this recording Solana's price is currently sitting at about thirty six dollars and ninety two cents GST on the Solana side is sitting currently around sixteen cents GST on the Binance side is currently sitting around thirty four cents and finally GMT is sitting around ninety two cents so because these numbers will change so rapidly and so fast all the time, I'm just giving you guys the formula here so you guys can do this on your own. So you can do this either in GST or in USD. For simplicity's sake, the formula in USD is the investment cost divided by your daily earnings. That's going to give you your days to break even. To find out your daily earnings, it's easy. It's just the GST that you're getting per day times the price of GST. So now that you guys know the formula and you can do it yourself, let's together go through these numbers and see what the current buying cost for each realm is. So round one is going to be the buying cost for Solana versus the buying cost for Binance. Round one. So taking a look at the commons and uncommons here, you can see that on the Solana side, the most efficient way to jump into the game on the commons is going to be a level 19, which is going to run you about $132 as the current floor price. And the days to break even is currently sitting around 61 days. On the uncommon side, the most efficient way and the most efficient sneaker to buy as far as uncommons is going to be a level 28 sneaker. That's gonna cost you about $451 at today's floor prices, earn you about 31 GST per day, which basically gets you to break even in about three months or 89 or 90 days. So taking a look here at the commons on the Binance Smart Chain side, the most efficient sneakers are going to be the same, level 19 for commons, level 28 for uncommons. Now the difference is going to be in pricing. A level 19 sneaker here is going to cost you about 1.38 BNB or $327 at the current floor prices. It's going to earn you the same amount of GST per day as the common on a Solana. And the days to break even is going to be about 72 days. So it's about 11 more days in the Solana side. However, monthly you're making $136 versus here monthly you're making 60 63. Now on the uncommon side, we're looking at a level 28, which is going to run you about 4.5 BNB or 1,067 US dollars. That's going to earn you about 31 GST per day, and you will be able to break even in about 
99 to 100 days. So the difference between this one and the Solana as far as the buy-in price is going to be about a $600 difference. However, you're earning about $170 more per month. And then days to break even here are going to be 99 to 89. So the cheaper side here is obviously going to be Solana. Whether you're getting into the Solana side through a common or a uncommon, it's going to be way cheaper right now than getting into the uh, Binance Smart Chain side with either the common or the uncommon. However, the reward for taking the higher risk is a little bit more as on the BSC side, you're earning 136 and 321 versus the Solana side where you're earning 63 and 150. So it's a classic case of higher risk, higher reward. Next, let's take a look at the different strategies that you can do on each chain and which is the most efficient and most profitable one. So on the Solana side, one of the most efficient strategies is the one uncommon plus eight floor common sneakers. This right now would cost you about $1,315. It would earn you about 102, 103 GST per day. And your days to break even would be about 79 days. So that's about, so that's about a month and a half or so. With this setup, you'd be making around $494 per month here. Now, if we take a look at Binance at the exact same strategy, you're going to see that it is a lot more costier. And that's also shown on the days to break even here. You can see that this would be about 91 days to hit break even. So about three months here. However, you will be making over two times as much money per month as you would be on the Solana side. So again, comparing these two, the investment on the Binance side is gonna be about 2.4 times more than the same strategy on the Solana side days to break even is going to be about 12 more days than the Solana side. And however, what you will be making per month will be about 2.1 X more than what you would make on the Solana side. So again, it comes down to are you willing to risk more money to potentially make more money? Next, let's take a look at the minting cost on Solana versus on the Binance Smart Chain. So we're going to assume that we're minting two joggers with zero or one mint. So the GST price and GMT cost is 360 and 40, which makes that a total of $96. Floor price right now on Solana is around 2.94 to buy. Remember, you have to buy two minting scrolls. So that's about five GMT each right now. A level up cost to get to level five so that you can mint is about $12.55. The 6% fees is going to be about $6.51. So that brings us to a total of a negative $16.20 if we were or to mint flip. If we're just looking to mint to make more sneakers, then the current cost is $96. Taking a look at the Binance chain, the mint price here is about $159. Floor price is currently around 1.14 BNB. Minting scrolls are about 49 GMT each. Level up cost is about $16. 6% marketplace fees are about $16. Brings us to a total of negative 13.3 USD. So a total mint cost currently on the Binance Smart Chain is about $159.05. Of course, if you don't have the mint scrolls and you have to buy the minting scrolls, it's, that's basically adding another around 90 to $100 on top of that cost. So that'll put you around $250. Add in the $16 to level up your sneakers, puts you around $266. And if we take a look at a brand new sneaker right now, on the market is going for about $293. So it is currently cheaper to mint versus buy a sneaker on the market. On the Solana side is $96 plus about $10 for the minting scrolls. That puts us at 106, which puts us around 118. You can see that level zero joggers right now are going for about $112. So on the Solana chain, it's actually cheaper right now to buy a level zero sneaker. And then of course, the total of Solana is 118 versus the total of the Binance side, which is 267. So the Binance side again is about 2.2, 2.3 times more expensive to mint 
than on the Solana side. So that's something else that you need to take into consideration. And again, mint flipping on neither chain right now as of this recording is currently profitable. So in conclusion of this comparison of Solana versus BSC, buying cost, of course, goes to the Solana chain as it is a lot cheaper right now than the BSC side. That also ends up showing on the days to break even. For the most part, days to break even on the Solana chain is usually less than days to break even on the Binance side. So that's another W for the Solana chain. But where BSC takes it is on the possible earnings right now you would be earning a lot more on the bsc side about 2.1 to 2.2 times the amount as on the solana side you can also see that in the prices themselves as the gst on the binance side is more expensive basically about double what the price is currently on the solana side when it comes to minting same thing solana is going to be cheaper to mint cheaper to build up your sneakers and none of them are currently profitable for mint flips so what do i think is best is going to vary on the person if you have a higher risk tolerance in a bigger bankroll, then you might wanna take the higher risk. The higher risk is going to come, of course, with a higher reward. If you have a lower risk tolerance and you wanna take less risk, then I would say the Solana side will probably be better for you. Another thing that you need to keep in mind though, is that there's a lot more people over on the Solana side than there is on the Binance side. So more people means that more rewards need to be given out. More rewards given out means that there's more inflation of the GST token. More inflation of the GST token means that the value will probably be lower than on the Binance side. So although prices can potentially go back up as far as GST, I do think that because there's so many more people on the Solana side, Solana's GST price will always probably be less than the GST price on the Binance side. And that will probably also be true once Realm 3 comes around. There's gonna be even less people there than on the Binance side and on the Solana side. So the GST price on the third realm will probably always be more valuable than GST prices on the second and first realm. That is also why I assume that the entry prices will also be more expensive. It looks like as you go from realm to realm, every new realm will probably be a little bit more expensive and its GST value will be a little bit higher. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and pick this week's winner for the free GST. And the winner is... Mohamed Shaquille. Congratulations, Mohammed. Please send me a message on Twitter letting me know that it's you. If you can't message me, just tag me in a tweet and also drop a comment on the video with your Twitter name. If you guys want a chance to win free GST, then make sure to comment below, hashtag till the end. Next week, I will be picking a new winner. With all that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to drop the hashtag in the comments, hashtag till the end, so that you can potentially win some free GST. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in today's video, drop it in the comments as well. I'll be happy to answer those if I have the answer to the question. You guys can also follow me on Twitter at BitcoinXDaily and on Instagram, Bitcoin.Daily. If you guys are interested in more Stepping content, check out this Stepping Guide playlist that I created for you guys, where I've done over 18 different videos. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I will see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.